I've been fascinated by the Clary for many reasons. The red dunes, desert storms, the colourful sunsets, the smell of the felt after the first big rains after a very long dry season. This is like no other place in the world. Tucked away in the northern part of South Africa, this place is probably the best known for the black mane lion and other predators like leopard, cheetah, hyena. Working in an environment like this can be a huge challenge, but also very rewarding um, if you have the patience. You know, the long hours, uh, bugs uh, during the rainy season when you work at night, the heat it can get up to 50 degrees Celsius um, in the winter months. The coldest evenings I've had there is as low as minus 12 degrees Celsius. The great thing about the Kalari is when you are fortunate enough to spend a lot of time with, for example, a subject. For the last two and a half years, I've been privileged enough to spend a lot of time with the leopard family. You intimately get to know them, uh, their routines, their walking patterns, at the best time of the day that they hunt, the best time of the day that you can actually photograph them. I was also privileged to spend a lot of time at the leopard dens seeing these cubs grow and forming their own personalities. But also you have your sad moments too, like I saw four of the big pride males in the southern regions perish over the last year and it's sad to say goodbye to these magnificent animals. But after a long day's work, sitting down next to a fire, listening to the night sounds, looking at the stars, it's these moments that you realise what a special place the Kalari is. To capture the real essence of a place like the Kalari, you have to spend a lot of time and put in a lot of driving. You have to capture the, the good years and the bad years, good rainfalls and the droughts. Photography-wise, I always try different techniques, experiment a lot, mix styles and approaches, get your camera in difficult places. For the last two years, I experiment a lot with wide-angle shots, especially at night. Extreme close-ups with wide-angle lenses, remote photography. The thing that really gets me going as a photographer is, is if I can capture a photograph that tells a story. Because we are storytellers at the end of the day. This unique desert, the predators, the interaction between the animals, the harsh environment these animals have to survive in, this is what makes me come back all the time. This is a true desert oasis.